Hello ladies and gents, everything between outside of it. I'm Sophia and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to reorganize my bookshelf and my TBR cart. So when I got my TBR cart, I kind of changed everything around. And though I like the way it looks, some things are still bothering me because it's just like a lot and everything. Every time I get new books, I, don't, I just don't know where to put them. So I kind of want to change things up one of the major things that's been bothering me is that my hardcovers are all over the place and they're not like together so that's been really irritating me and just my book cart it doesn't look the way i want it to look i wanted it to be aesthetic and color coded and cute and it isn't really giving that so i was planning on maybe like taking out all my books but i think that's also a bit dramatic so, I mean, obviously eventually I think they'll all be like out and in, but like, yeah. So I have started off already. So those were all on the bottom and those, I don't know, I just bought them like almost a year ago and I still haven't read them and I just don't think I will. So I think I'm just gonna unhaul them. Um, but it's from like Nikki French and my mom really likes their books because Nikki French is like Christina Loring, it's like two people. But I've just never gotten to pick one up and I don't think I will to be really honest and they're just kind of in the way. So I'm gonna to, like put all of these away. What currently my system is, is that these are my, this is my TBR card, so these are all the books I haven't read. And then when I finish a book, I put it in my bookshelf, which obviously makes sense, but it has been getting kind of annoying because authors aren't together and some series just aren't together and I don't know, I'd rather just have everything together. For example, the Twisted series. I know I have Twisted Love in there, but I have all the other books in here. For example, there's Twisted Hate and Twisted Lives. Twisted Games is on the other side. But can you tell it's just all of it all over the place? So I think I'm just going to put all my series together that even if I haven't finished them, I just want to have them together because then I know where they are. And for example, this one, it isn't from a series, but the author's books all look the same. So it would just be nice to have them over there with the rest, because it's just, it'll just look so much better. The same with the American Roommate experience experiment oh my god somebody one of you guys commented that i kept saying the roommate experience and i think i would have said it until somebody actually like pointed it out i have a little pile now this doesn't really do much to be really honest um but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna fill it in there i'm just gonna start doing some things and see if it works do you guys think i should put all my calling horror books together because i do still just want to read the ones that i bought because otherwise it's a waste of my money Walking or biking? Okay. I should never have my sound on ever again. I have two copies of this, so one of them I'm just gonna put away because I don't need both. I also have two copies of Pride and Prejudice, so I have the I have a really nice version, and then I have this one. But I'm gonna keep this one in case I want to read it at school or something at some time, um, because that one is massive and that won't be able to fit in my bag. But this is then nice and quick if I just want to take it somewhere. 
Also, I have two books from Adele Parks. I don't know much about her books, but I see them a lot in secondhand bookstores. I have two, so I have The Other Woman's Shoes and Both of You. Both of You so sounds kind of interesting, but I don't know. I've never picked these up, but I don't... I think I'm still going to keep them because I feel like I still might pick them up, but it's not like 100%. This is funny. So I have like a few random things in my TBR card. So I have this one. And these are, this was at the time my entire TBR card. Um, and then I just wanted to like pick one and then just read it. So for example, this one I haven't read. Haven't read. Haven't read. <laughs> These are majority of the books actually I'm putting away. Reminders of him. I have read. Okay. This is a fun little game. Jake Man, Haven't read. Eight Perfect Hours. I've had that book for like almost two years and I still haven't read it. The Go Before. Have not read. I've only had one read at this point. No. No. Yes. <gasps> okay. No. No. Oh, oh my god. No. No. I'm picking the ones that I'm like throwing away. No. Okay. We're gonna... No. For God's sake. These are the ones I haven't read. <laughs> these are the ones I have read. I should probably go through these and maybe finish them and actually take out the books that I haven't read because I feel like this is like a cute idea. Also because a lot of times I do not know what to read. So I'm going to do this but hopefully by the end of this my TBR is actually books I want to read and not like, uh, you know what I mean? I'm going to put you further away so you can get a better perspective of what's going on. cover of this one. Oh my god. I still haven't read it though. So that's a bit of a problem, but I do really want to read this. What pile is this going to call on? Oh my god, this is not looking good. This is one of those. And this one has, does not have a pile. I'm just going to put that on the doesn't have a pile pile. These two I really want to read. Where's my romance pile? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, this is my current situation. The reason why I'm doing this is just because I've been feeling recently like my TBR has been really overwhelming. And I don't like that. Like, I am already really stressed in life and I don't need extra stress added on to that just because I have too many books to read. And I know this is one girl on TikTok that has 500 TBR, like books on her physical TBR. I think I would have died, but I am, currently there's a big pile, which I'm getting rid of. But I'm just gonna go through these. Some I just know, for example, which one, where is it? Someone read it, but just look at this cover. Doesn't that make you wanna read it? Like, this one is also sound good, but why have I not read it? two tim weaver books this one also seemed really good um this pile is getting in frame at this point we're done with one side of the cart um and the other side has already been quite intensely attacked i actually started this and i got to page like 70 and i haven't gotten further because the font is so small and i was reading this after i got a reading club but I found an audiobook version, so maybe that will get me back into it. So I'm going to keep this in case I want to, like, read it. Perks of Being a Wallflower. I've watched the movie over 10,000 times, but I've not gotten to the book. But I think I just want it to have the book, so I have it, if that makes sense. Where the Crawl Dads Sing still have not gotten to it. So this is my romance and YA section. So these romances I all 100% want to read. Am I ever going to still read Paper Towns? See, I really like reading um, In for Alaska, but I don't think I'm actually going to continue any of the John Green's book books because I like them, but I never have felt the urge to go read them, if that makes sense. So I also have to just go all the way down and um, fall in our stars. So I'm going to keep this one. Not sure about this one. reason I haven't read this, I'm too scared. It's going to trigger me too much. Um, and I'm just waiting for the time that it doesn't trigger me because basically the 
the cuts in the thing, they're like engraved into the paper. And when I touched that the first time, it just, uh Got this at my school's book sale. Never gonna read it, to be really honest. And um, they're gonna do like, again, like, oh, please give us your books that you won't read. I'm literally gonna almost... Yeah, I've, almost every single book that I got that so I'm gonna put, get put back. I think actually all of them. That is my sign to not buy any this year. Will I? Probably. The situation is getting out of hand here. So I think we should. Also, I have this random, had this random candle in there. How am I gonna do this is the question. of Christmas books. Where the fuck do I put those? So in this corner over here, I have this pile of books that I started, DNF'd, or just don't know where to go. So this is a summer book, and I think the first chapter was 40 pages long, so I had trouble getting into it. This is a fat one star, please never read it. Tried getting into this, but I was just in a big reading slump, but I did quite like it. Now there is space on the bottom shelf, so I'm just gonna move some of this. didn't know my bottom shelf is a little less high than these two so I can't put books like that so they're all gonna be like this I think I'm gonna do kind of a similar system but just make it look prettier so this is just gonna be my YA and romance but I think I'm gonna mix them so the colors match better This is so, like, okay, what I had in the beginning, that books that were really high on my TBR, like, I really want to read them, went on top, and I'm going to keep that because I just love looking at them. They're just my bae. Meant to be mine, another yellow book. Why is it so difficult to make scary books have a scary side I am getting really tired, but I feel like we have done quite an okay job. Both of these rows are filled on both sides. Um, this is the current look of my bookshelf. I just put the hardcovers down there over like for now. This makes my brain feel a bit more relaxed. What is worrying me is how thick Twisted Lies is. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep this here, and I think tomorrow morning I will do my final finishing touches, but I think for now... I also have a test tomorrow, so I should probably study for that, so I'll see you tomorrow morning.